Hi everybody. So I thought I'd make a small reel on um, how for the post graduates who've just joined. Those of you who are in first year Kaini residency. Uh, I have made a, this is basically a follow up of my earlier video on when I told you how to study during post graduation. So what I would do is I would uh, the first year of post graduation I didn't study. I just um, uh, put all my effort into. making the content that means uh, where i'm going to study from just looking for information gathering it and putting it in one place that putting it in one place is very important and that's what i did so for every topic there's some around 80 to 100 topics in obs and gyne so for every topic i made i would um, uh, compile everything together so for example this this is and this is from uh, third, uh, 17 years back actually this 2006 So, for example, you can see this is my folder on breach. Okay, so on breach, if you look, the first page was the content page, and I'll just show you. So you can see this is my folder on breach presentation. Okay, it's a little faded out now that this is almost seventeen years back. Okay, so this is when I was a PG, and you can see uh, this is the topic breach, and you can see in the end I've added a little note: handle with care, please return if found, because these were like so so precious to me, and I still have all of these, and I don't think I can ever give them away. Now, so what I started with, with with every topic, the first, if there was a labor ward protocol or some hospital protocol on that, when we when you join PG, you're usually given a protocol of the department. So this was the protocol for our hospital, just a single page. So this was my first page. The second was notes. Notes are these are my undergraduate notes which I had made. Okay, and these were like again very very special to me because this you made with your own effort, and this is what you already know. so just give a, going giving a brief glance through this okay would again form the basis of what you going out what you're going to do next then see then i have oxorn and foot which i've already I already told you is the bible for labor related topics this is oxorn and foot this is the photocopy of that this book i and i have but you can see i these are all basically xerox from the library and then i have williams so i've xeroxed williams and put it into this I have Xeroxed Gabay, James Tear. These are again important books in obstetrics. I haven't bought them. I just went to the library, took out Breach, got them Xeroxed, added added them in this folder. Then Stud Thirteen. Now Stud is a series of uh, books which give you recent advances. And Stud Thirteen, they must have been. I don't remember now, but they must have been an important recent advance or something. I think it was about external cephalic version, which I put into this. Then I also added important trials and guidelines. Okay, so COG is again clinics of OBS and Kaini. It's a journal, and term breach trial is the most important trial that has come in recent times. This is from Lancet. This is one of the trials that, as a postgraduate, you should know. So everything compiled. Then I also put in missing. I probably couldn't find these guidelines, but then I later added them on. So best practice, and that is RCOG and ACOG. I put in. um later on i knew uh, these were missing at that time so i probably added them and then i've ticked them that means best practice i added probably acog is still not added and then i left a few blank pages so this is the entire folder okay and then i left a few blank pages in the end okay so for example there was a case uh, class note and case presentation probably there was a case presentation which was discussed so i wrote all the important points from that case discussion Okay, I added them here. Then there was another class on breach. So you can see this was um, in two thousand and nine, and this I made in two thousand six. So I kept this, and I kept adding on questions which were asked in the viva because I knew these could possibly come. Then I also added notes on cord cord prolapse. Okay, I also added transverse lie thing because there wasn't the the very small topic. So transverse lie I added separately. Then you can see there's another class two thousand and eight on breach. Okay. so i added the questions so in the end in the viva i also knew i just have to quickly um go through these and um that's how it was okay so just um um uh, this is uh, my folder and you can see how how important it was to me how precious it was to me and um, i hope this helps you with your studies and uh, making such folders on every topic really helps imagine me now 17 years later still sitting with the same folder and still referring to it whenever i need um, a reference 
so i hope that helps and um, uh, i suggest you make similar folders uh, for for every topic and where to know where to study from comes along the way this comes by asking your seniors you can ask me uh, you can go to the library and re- re- reference for yourself or whenever there's a case in the in the hospital or a discussion going on you can ask your professors or your seniors where are you supposed to read this topic from that helps you compile this so this is what you should be doing in your first year apart from that the initial part the notes that you make in your undergraduate in the book you read in your undergraduate days give a reading from that also in the first year